Today we're looking at some awesome drones from NJX. We've got the Mu4-1, which I've reviewed before, but this is the 4K model, and we've got the Bugs 5W, which is also a 4K model. And what you've also got to remember, these are budget level. They don't cost an awful lot of money, but give you a lot of features. They're great bits of kit, and they come ready to run. So everything you need is in these boxes, guys. Both of these drones have point of interest, follow me mode, and return to home. Also, I'm loving the packaging on these drones. Thanks again, MJXRC, for sending me these in the mail for review and testing today. So we're going to start with the Bugs 5W. Straight away I'm seeing a bunch of stickers and a quick start guide for this drone. So you can see this is really nicely packaged here. The drone's in the centre, so they get that out straight away. It's got these nice long feet on it, and this drone is great for entry level. It's a great starting point. You've got a stabilised camera on the bottom here with 180 degrees of angle, so that can move up and down. You've got a two cell LiPo, this is rechargeable. There's a screwdriver and some spare prop caps, some spare propellers, USB charger, put your lights on it. When they stop flashing, it's charged. And then we've got the transmitter. This is a five gigahertz model. You've got these little foldable handles here. Really nice to hold. You can see on the top, you've got the antenna. They just pop out. And also on the top for your phone, like that. So this takes just two AA batteries. First things first, these are brushless motors and you can see there's quite a nice build quality to this drone in general. You can see the props are already on there. They're quite hard plastic. You've got these pretty solid feet. So you've got a lot of clearance from the ground to the camera and the drone itself. You've got bugs written on the front here. Here's the 4K camera. You can see it's semi-stabilized here. At the rear, you can see where the battery goes and there's a little lock to keep it in place. At the back of the camera, you can see there's an SD card slot and it also says 4K on the camera just there. Overall, really liking the build quality of this. It's a nice looking drone. <laughs> oh wow, look at the bugs headlights. They are so cool, like eyes. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, guys. Let's move on to this foldable drone now. Really nice packaging on this. Got a magnetic box. Oh, hello. So in here, I think there's probably gonna be some instructions. Oh yeah, quick start guide, but no stickers this time. So in this first pouch, we've got a screwdriver and a USB-C. Ah, here's the battery. Two cell again. This looks like the charging brick, the same as the Bugs 5W. I think these might be spare propellers. Yes, they are. Extra propeller set. Got the transmitter, the same as the Bugs 5W. Again, the antenna at the top. The handles underneath. On the back, room for the two AA batteries. On the top, again, you've got room for your phone, so you can see the video feed via the five gigahertz transmission. And finally, the foldable Mu4-1. Look at this thing. So straight away, this has got a really, really nice design on it. It looks like a Chinook. <laughs> it does a little bit, doesn't it, with the propellers at the front and back. You've also got space for your SD card when you're recording. Looking underneath this awesome little drone, you can see there's two LEDs, followed by a camera, so it takes pictures of the floor to know where it is when it's hovering, followed by the barometer altitude sensors. These pulse the floor with audio, it knows its altitude. Moving round to the front here, we just fold these arms out because it's a foldable drone. You can see the 4K camera at the front. Now again, this is semi-stabilized. You can see it's moving there. And this has a rotation of 180 degrees up and down. Got little LED lights at the side. These are brushless motors as with the other drone, the Bugs 5W. Very powerful, very efficient. Towards the back, it says Mu4. Take this little tag off and on the back here you can see where the battery sits and slots in you've also got an led you can also see the power on off button on the top so both of these drones for me look great let's take them outside and see how they fly they've both got 4k cameras let's go let's start with the bugs 5w So we're going to actually calibrate the drone by turning it. They're going to turn it vertically like this and do the same thing again until the lights stop flashing. Now when we look at the lights, 
they've stopped flashing away. Start recording, and we're going to press the lock button and get it to automatically take off. So I've noticed the GPS button is off, and you can see the drone is actually drifting away. So I'm going to switch that on, and it should stop. As you can see, it's not moving anywhere now. Whoa, hello there. Let's go for a little fly. So far, this thing is really, really easy to fly. If I let go of the controls, it'll just stay wherever you leave it. Let's go for a fly and see what the transmission range is like. That is nice. This is really impressive, guys. Let's get a bit of altitude on this. Wow. That isn't bad at all. Look at the range on that. You can barely see it in the sky. Just a dot up there. We're all the way down there in that car park. Right, that little dot just there. All right. We've got a good opportunity here to initiate the smart return to home. So let's see if we can do that now. There's a small symbol on my screen that says home. I pressed it. It's lit up. Let's see if it comes back to us. Yes, there it is. It's coming towards us. Look at that, guys. Awesome. There it is. That's an awesome bit of kit, though. Whoa, the downdraft. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he took myself out. <laughs> Let's lift it up. Look at that. Wow, that's a good view. I'll tell you what, the video quality isn't too bad. Orbit flight, they call it. Let's go. Right, it's moving. And I'm not touching it, so this is pretty good so far. It's going round. Uh, I'm out of shot now, but never mind. I am sort of in shot, but that is awesome. Look at that, I'm not touching the transmitter. And it's just orbiting around the object. I'm just trying to do a follow me now. So if I just move around, it should follow us. Let me try moving over this way. I'm going to walk away and see if it follows us. I'm not touching the transmitter. We're just walking away. Here we go. So close to the ground. Whoa! Incoming! Whoa! <laughs> Low level flyby. Incoming, guys, incoming! Whoa, man down! <laughs> All right, here we go. We're back in business. Go, 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 go! Okay, I'm gonna take it away. I'm gonna press the smart return to home. Let's see if it lands where it took off from. I'm gonna leave it all the way over there. I'm gonna press the home button, which is just here. Okay. I can see it lifting in altitude. It's right above us and it's coming down now, guys. I'm not touching this transmitter. It's landing itself literally exactly where it took off from, right next to that drain. It's unreal. <sighs> guys, I can't get over just how good this drone was for the money it costs and the features it's got. I couldn't fault it. The camera could be a little bit better, but we're not looking at a DJI class drone here. This is an entry level, but it's damn good for the money. What also really impressed me was how much range this thing had. It flew for about 500 meters without any problems at all. And when we needed the return to home, it worked like a charm. All right, so we're onto the Mu4-1. Okay, so the same thing applies. We've got to then calibrate the drone because underneath, It'll be flashing away here. So I'm going to turn it around three times. Then I'm going to turn it up vertically. Do the same thing again. Auto take off. There we go. We're up and we're rocking and rolling. Look how smooth that thing is. how close we are to it. Let's go for a little fly around. 
Wow. Straight away, this is much faster than the Bugs 5W. It's a lot more agile, but it is a little bit hard to control because it is more agile. Nonetheless, it's still bloody good. Look at the LEDs underneath as well. Can you see those, the two bright yellow lights underneath? That's pretty cool. Not bad. Whoa. Yeah, definitely easy to control. Backwards. Forwards. Right. Left. Yeah, easy. Nice bit of kit this as well, guys. We're going in for a full speed flyby. Whoa! <laughs> It's coming back, full speed. Whoa! You won't want to get in the way of that. <laughs> Can't believe how fast it is. Yeah, I'm loving this, guys. You can see the feed on the screen there. I'll just leave it alone there for a second, hovering. Hopefully just about see on the screen. That's its live feed. All right then. So, shall we try some of the apps? Let's try Orbit Flight. I'm going to turn it around. It's going to orbit me. Start. Oh, yes. There it goes. Hello. It's orbiting me. Look at that. This thing is awesome as well. I truly do like the MJX RC drones. They are very, very good. The money you're paying for one of these things, it's a lot of fun. Let's try follow me mode. So follow me. Yep, it's going to follow this transmitter now, apparently. Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to walk away. Looking at my screen. Oh, it's following us, guys. It's right behind us. Oh, there you are, little one, but you're facing the wrong way. Come this way, please. Yes, yeah, it sort of works. It's quite cool. All right, back to normal flight. Let's go, full speed. Let's see what sort of distance we can get on this before we lose signal. And we'll try the smart return to home. Look at that for a view as well. You can barely see it. It's a tiny black splodge in the sky. And look at that view. Let's just turn it around a little bit here. You can see all the warehouses in the distance, the horizon, the curvature of the earth. There's the car park down there. All right, let's pretend we've lost signal. I'm going to press the home button. Let's see if it comes home to us. What I think it'll do is it will actually land where it took off from over that way. But I want to just see if it comes back in range so we can see it a bit more easily on the camera. It might actually come back to the transmitter, but it's a good experiment. Let's see. Oh, it's a bit wet today. Blimey. Squelchy. Look at that. Will it be a soft landing? Oh yes, just like the Bugs 5W. Overall guys, a great little drone this, especially for the money. It was a little bit faster than the Bugs 5W Wi-Fi, but it was a lot more agile and harder to control. I got about the same amount of flight time, so about 15 minutes on this thing. And overall, I'm really impressed with it. It's got some great features and it's good value for money. I love the idea that you can put the SD card in for the full quality videos as well. The follow me worked, the orbit mode worked, and the return to home worked. I like the little LEDs on the bottom as well, so you can see where it is from the air. Overall, a good little product. So there you have it. You've seen the Mi 4-1 and the Bugs 5W drone from MJX. Both of these drones, absolutely awesome. For the money, for the budget price they are, they're great. Thank you, MJX, for sending me these two drones in the mail for review. So remember, both of these 4K drones will be available to purchase mid-December 2019. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more upcoming videos in the future. See you later on. Bye.